Well, hello, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Val. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I teach you how to make bougie nails on a budget. So if you got a budget girl, stick around. Because today we are going to be reviewing this cute little airbrush machine. And we're also going to be trying airbrush nails for the very first time. So this is what the machine looks like. I ended up getting this machine out of all of them on Amazon because this one looks like a little bear and because it's pink and this is what the kit looks like right now this kit currently retails on Amazon for $68 so girl it's, it's a little expensive but it comes with like a whole bunch of things it comes with like different sizes of cups so that you could put your ink in like your spray paint ink it comes with a little charger and it also comes with like these little cleaning tubes as well and look it also comes with like an extra cup this is where you put your ink but yeah it comes with like a whole bunch of stuff so um let's put the little drill or like the little airbrush together and let's try it out to see if it's worth it i also wanted to show you guys the white paint that i bought from amazon as well this is like air opaque like airbrush paint and the brand is called badger i got it in the color white because i didn't know what other color to get i was told not to use acetone and gel nail polish with my little drill because it could clog it so i just wanted to give you guys a little warning as well so for today we're just going to be using the little badger gel paint and here i am putting my little airbrush together here is the little cup where you put in the little paint and i'm going to put in a couple of drops and this is what the paint looks like it honestly looks like milk i kind of want to drink it but don't drink it because it smells really bad now let's prep um our nails so today i'm going to be working on these 3xl press on nails i'm going to make i'm um, la 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 my i got a little tongue tied <laughs> i'm going to be making some airbrush pressies today i get a lot of questions in regards to what tips i use and i like to use these um these are called goo trades and these are the 3xl nail tips and i like them because they're hella tapered now off camera i went ahead and i made the pinky and the pointer finger into a stiletto and now let's go ahead and now let's prep my nails to get them ready for the airbrush so before i paint my press on nails i'm going to take my little pink buffing block and i'm going to buff them really quick i'm going to buff all of my press ons now that i have buffed them and i have given them a little bit of texture i'm going to grab my isopropyl alcohol and i'm going to clean the tops of my press on nails to get rid of any excess dust and any oils Now that my press-ons are clean and prepped and ready to go, I am now ready to paint them. So today's design is going to be inspired by this pink like airbrush heart tapestry that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to try to do my best to kind of make it like give it that like vibe. <laughs> I'm going to do my best, okay? Since this is my first time. So my base color that I'm going to be using is this color called Electric Rose by No Attic Dele. However, they rebranded, so I don't really know what color like this would be now. I hope it's the same color. Look at this freaking color, friend. Isn't it hella pretty? It's like the perfect shade of bubblegum pink. If you guys know any other brands that make a color similar to this please let me know friend because i need to replace this shade of pink and i don't know if nail reserve has the same exact shade of pink once i'm done painting my nails i'm going to stick them in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and when i take them out they're going to be a little sticky and i'm going to leave them as is because i'm going to use this pigment powder on them i got this cute pigment powder from amazon everything that i use is going to be linked in the description box below the little pigment powder came with this eyeshadow brush and you use it to apply the powder onto your nail so it's really simple you just rub it into your nail like so i'm going to create a little bit of an ombre effect so i'm going to concentrate the color here on the bottom but then i'm going to fade it out once i get towards the middle this is what my little ombre nail looks like so pretty i love it now i am going to chop the tip of my finger off 
I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Don't do that. I just chopped the tip of my glove off <laughs> and I'm going to expose my finger. By the way, ignore my nub. I am a nail biter. Now I am going to take my finger and I'm going to dip it in this really, really, really fine glitter. And I'm going to rub the finger into my nail like so and it should stick. Now remember, I set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and I didn't put any top coat over it so the nail is really sticky and if you use really 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 fine glitter, it should stick really well onto your nail like so. I discovered this little trick last night. I was really, really tired and I was feeling really uninspired. And I thought to myself, hmm, if you could rub chrome powder into the sticky nail, what would happen if you rub like really, really fine glitter into the nail? And this was the result. Isn't it hella pretty? So if you guys have like hella fine glitters like lying around, well, now you have a reason to use them even more. And I hope you guys have fun experimenting with this. It's really, really fun. And I've tried this in different colors and it looks really cool cool okay and once i am done doing my little glitter ombre design i am now going to go over it with a juicy layer of clear gel nail polish when you are going over the glitters with clear gel nail polish try to do so gently because you don't want to lift them up and once you are done painting your nail clean up the sides a little bit with your fingers like so so that you could keep a nice uh, clean slim shape and now i'm going to set it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and this is what they look like. They look so pretty. I love the ombre design. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glitter out this nail as well. And it'll finish off the whole entire set. Look friend, this is what everything looks like all together. <laughs> I love it. Now let's get started on our airbrush designs. So the time has come, time to do airbrush designs. However, before we get started and before we do anything, we need to lay down our stickers or AKA like our nail decals. Now I made a lot of them with my Cricut machine. As you can see, I made like some LV stickers and I made some flowers and I also made like a couple old English numbers. And here is like a little money sign. But I just wanted to let you guys know that you don't need to make your own stickers or you don't need to purchase like fancy nail decals. If you guys have like regular stickers that have like a simple like silhouette or design you could use these as well like for example these heart shaped stickers would work good or these butterfly stickers that i got from a cart would also work good as well as long as they have like a simple shape or a simple silhouette you're good to go however you can buy like airbrush stencil stickers on etsy and i believe you could also find them on amazon but yeah so let's get started so here are the stickers slash stencils that i ended up picking out obviously i didn't do a really good job at making them because i didn't space them out really well <laughs> but yeah this is these are the stickers that i'm going to be using i'm going to be using some chanel's i'm going to be using some flowers and some louis vuitton stickers but yeah let's get started and now i'm going to start laying down my stickers i'm going to start off with my little louis vuitton sticker here at the top and i'm going to try and flatten them down as much as i can so that when i airbrush the um over the design like the airbrush ink doesn't slide underneath my sticker i want it to come out really crisp and clean however i am going to leave a little flap of the sticker like slightly like not stuck to the nail so i'm going to leave a little free flap so that it could be easy to peel off afterwards i hope that makes sense <laughs> but yeah so here's my design it's giving material girl material girl i want chanel nine boots mana, 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 and now I am going to do a little practice spray. And unfortunately, I didn't really do a very good job at the practice spray. It splattered all over the place. But like my second spray, I did a really good job. Okay, so um, this is how you turn it on. This is how you turn on your little airbrush. You turn it on by pressing the button here in the middle. And you end up spraying by pushing back the little toggle here. Did I use that word correctly? I, I hope I used the word. Is, is that a toggle or is that a knob? I don't know. But you push it back like that and that's how you control the spray. Well, anyways, let's get started. Um, so I'm going to start spraying my nail like right away. As you can see, you can barely even see anything. You can barely even tell. I, I, I didn't know if I was spray painting anything at first because it was really light. But then I changed the setting to the second setting and I could start seeing a little bit of a difference. And this is what my nail looks like. I didn't really do an extreme amount of airbrush because I didn't want it to puddle. And in between each spray, I, um, I tried to dry it by pretty much just waving it around. You know what I mean? So in between each spray, I try to dry it off, dry it off, dry it off so it doesn't puddle. So I did like about two coats of the spray paint 
because like I said, I didn't want to do too much. And now I'm going to peel off these stickers. And this is a very satisfying friend. Very, very, very satisfying. And so here's my first nail. And to be honest, I kind of really don't love it. So let's go ahead and let's make another one. <laughs> let's try again. So um, I'm going to be doing the same exact like sticker design. I'm going to stick an LV, a money, and all the same stickers that I stuck before. And I'm going to be doing the same technique. This time when I spray my nail, I am going to put my airbrush in the highest setting. I'm going to back up a little bit farther and I'm going to do one overall spray over my stickers like so, as you could see. So one coat like that. And now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to spray random areas of the nail just to add a little bit more like definition. And once it is done drying, I'm going to peel off my stickers. And to be honest, I like doing this technique a lot better than the first time around. The first time around when I did two coats in the lightest setting, I feel like I sprayed too much product. And when I took the stickers off, like it kind of took off some of the design with it. It wasn't as clean, but this way it looks a lot better if that makes any sense. I let my nail sit for like about 10 to 15 seconds so that it could dry properly and then I went over it with a nice juicy layer of clear top coat to seal in the design. I am going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and this is what it looks like. Here's a close up shot of my nail. It looks so freaking pretty. I love it. And here is a close up shot of my other nail. I actually did this one off camera. I don't know if you guys could tell the difference. This one doesn't have like the extra little LV flowers on it. I hope you guys don't mind. It's just that I didn't really like the first one that I made. <laughs> so I redid it. And since the spray paint colors look a little light on the pink, I decided let's go ahead and let's try the spray paint out on a black nail. I used fine black glitter to create a little bit of an ombre. So I'm actually really excited to see what this will look like when we shine like light to it. It's going to look really, really pretty. Now that I have my stickers on my nail, I'm going to begin spraying my nail. And you are definitely going to see the difference. You can definitely see the white a lot better on the black nail. This is what my little nail looks like once I'm done spraying it. And now it's time to peel off the stickers. That's my favorite part ever. It's so satisfying when they come off super clean. And now that I've taken off all of the stickers, I'm going to add a nice juicy layer of top coat on top of it. And voila, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend, here is my airbrush nail. I really love how it looks like on the black. It's so pretty and I'm so happy that I experimented with like different stickers so that I could see what like the different shapes look like. So pretty. So now that we saw what it looks like on a light color and a dark color, let's continue with the rest of my set. The nails that I need to work on next are my little stiletto nails and I have something super duper planned for these low pointy babies. I'm actually planning on blinging them out completely. So let's do a whole disco ball nail friend. I'm going to be using my squeezy glue by Ino Couture and I'm going to cover my whole entire nail with the glue. Once I have covered my whole entire nail with the squeezy glue, I'm going to grab these small round AB gems. I don't know what size they are. They came in this bling kit that I got from Amazon. I will be linking it down in the description box below. And I'm going to start by blinging out the border of my nail. If you are new to my channel, whenever I bling out my whole entire nail, I like to start off by just blinging out the border like so. I 
unfortunately the gems that i have are a little too big because my tip like tapers into like a really really tiny point so i'm going to grab even smaller teeny tiny ab gems these are by mccart and i'm going to finish doing the rest of my nail i finished the tip off camera and this is what it looks like and now i'm going to fill in the inside i'm going to grab larger ab gems and i'm going to be filling in the inside of my nail like so And now that I have filled the middle of my nail with large AB stones, I'm going to go back in with my tiny little round AB gems and I'm going to stick them in the gaps of my nail, like so. Just stick them in the tiny little nooks and crannies. I'm going to do the rest of my nail off camera and this is what she looks like. Isn't she super pretty, friend? Once I'm done bleeding it out, I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And when I take it out of the UV lamp, I clean my gems off with isopropyl alcohol and it makes them so shiny. I even went ahead and I blinged out my pinky nail off camera and I added a little magnet here at the bottom. Can you see? And it's so that I could attach this removable pom-pom. You could take it on and off as you please. Okay, my loves, so here is what my set is looking like so far. What do you guys think? Is it missing anything? What should we add? Does it need charms? I'm thinking that maybe the middle nail needs more bling. <laughs> you can never go wrong with hella bling. I'm going to take this really pretty large AB gemstone. It's a 3D gemstone and I'm going to attach it to the middle of my nail like so. I attached it with my bubblegum gel by Eno Couture. And for my flat back gems, I'm going to go in with my squeezy glue and I'm going to do like a really like bougie bling freestyle. Okay, friend? Watch me go to work, 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 work and bam! Look! What do you think? I freaking love it! You guys better screenshot this design because you guys need to replicate it on your nails ASAP, okay? I know it looks a little difficult, but friend, trust me, it's really easy. It's like bougie Tetris. Little pieces fit in little spots. You got this. If I could do it, you could do it. And remember to always clean off your gems with isopropyl alcohol because it makes them pop. Okay friends, and now that I'm done blinging out my middle nail, I'm looking at the rest of my set and I'm looking at the little airbrush nails that we made and I feel like they need bling too! So I'm going to go back with my round AB gems and my squeezy glue and I'm going to apply them scattered throughout the whole entire design, if you know what I mean. Once I was done adding bling to my nail, I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what my set looks like. I did the same bling design on both of my little airbrush nails, as you guys can see. Doesn't it look super cute? I love it! However, I feel like my blinged out pointer finger nail, it's still missing a little something something. And I think it's missing a charm! I customized this Hello Kitty charm by adding glitter to her bow. So I'm going to grab the same bubble gum gel that I used earlier to apply my 3d charm and i'm going to use it to apply my little hello kitty i'm going to set it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds afterwards and when i take it out of the uv lamp here is our set friend i freaking love it and i'm so proud of it so what do you guys think about airbrush do you guys love it do you guys hate it do you guys think it looks easy do you guys think it looks hard I honestly was really intimidated of trying airbrush nails out mostly because I thought it was going to be really difficult to do and because I thought that an airbrush kit was going to cost me like $400 but this airbrush kit wasn't too bad let me remind you that the kit was um or the kit retails for um $68.99 on Amazon and I personally think that $68.99 is still really expensive but I feel like it's really beginner friendly and if doing airbrush is something that really really interests you i feel like it's something that's worth getting into i personally loved it i love doing airbrush i had a lot of fun and i really love the end result and that's pretty much today's video don't forget to leave a like if you liked airbrush and if you like today's set i also wanted to let you guys know that we have already announced the winner for the giveaway they have already received their prizes as well so i'm really thankful to everybody that participated thank you so much to everybody that made the giveaway so so much fun thank you thank you thank you i love you guys so 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 much and I will see you guys next week. Mwah!
I'm sorry for not posting last week. My bad, friend. I felt a little behind. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye.